Hey there, this is Jimmy again, and today we have a very cool find, a very large one actually. Um, but first of all, if you like what you've been seeing, please hit the subscribe below and like, and uh, you know, if you really want to, uh, leave a comment or ask a question, and uh, I generally do respond to them. Anyway, um, this is a 1977 Dodge B300 Tradesman uh, camper conversion. Looks like it's uh, labeled the Cobra, which has nothing to do with the Carroll Shelby, but you know, in the late 70s or mid 70s, Cobra was quite a popular thing. You get the King Cobra Mustang too. And, uh, well, obviously the regular Cobras were still, well, they still are a big deal, obviously. So anything Cobra probably caught people's eye. But let's take a look at this thing overall. I mean, it is, it's quite large. So this is the Dodge Maxi Van chassis. This would be a one ton. It's got the round headlights. It's pretty complete, actually. It's got the Dodge lettering on the front. Very cool. Got the grill, big chrome grill with the lights in front. Lots of chrome. Very nice, got the high top camper on there. Let's, uh, let's walk around the whole thing completely. We'll show you all the highlights, then we'll go inside too. And the Cobra sticker held up pretty well. There's where the Tradesman B300 logo was. It's got a heater, because there's the exhaust. It's got water on board. Ah, there's the propane for the heater. I have to excuse the noise, we're near an Air Force base and sometimes they're out doing maneuvers, so pretty cool. Look at that, you've got the big old thing on the top with a luggage rack, or it's like the, the poop deck, um, and sleeping area up top, but we'll, we'll check all that out. There's the back of it obviously with the double doors, Dodge Maxi Van logo. This is to connect to shore power, three prong plug there trailer hitch and we're back to this side so let's take a look under the hood first you can get various engines on the um, well on the, on the tradesman uh, vans obviously everything down from I believe a, a six a slant six to uh to the 440 this one here though looks to be well we can't we'll see it more inside but this is actually the 360 v8 so look at that not much access under the hood, most of it is accessed from inside the cabin. But uh, oh, look at this. This is the member of the RVIA. They certify compliance with everything. Manufactured by Cobra Industries, February 77. Know, it says the Chevy, but it's obviously not. Uh, built in November 76, which it wasn't. This actually isn't the right tag for this, uh, this car. <laughs> but what can you do? Here's the equipment ID. So here's everything that there was. The eight cylinder, 127 uh, wheelbase, 3,300 pound front axle, power disc brakes, 727 tranny, 60 amp alternator, convenience package, let's see the rear axle, 360 two barrel, eight cylinder, the extra cooling package, 70 amp battery, power steering, very cool. Take a look at the driver's seat first. We'll open that up. Here's the actual VIN plate. Shows it's obviously, well, obviously it's a Chrysler. What can you do? But, um, whoa, look at that. That is some bright green shag and vinyl. Absolutely dig it. That's so cool. So 70s. Look at that. You got the pillow tufting up there. That's so cool. This is nice. Basically, it's white with green trim, I guess. So it's kind of a greenish putty dashboard. Steering wheel, obviously. You got the 100 mile an hour speedometer. It's got to be a little frightening to go 100 in this thing. You got the extra gauges there, full complement, not bad. Washer wiper, lighter. And that's your heater, air switches. This should be up here. Someone pulled it down, but there's your main air vents and your radio and also the rest of your air conditioning and the heating. Engine's below it, but we'll get to that in a minute. Your brake, hood release, speakers, opening the window. Got the vent windows for the highway travel. Very cool. Totally love it. So let's look at that little single, big old post pillar there to mount the seat on. Let's check out the passenger side. 
Oh, look at that. Eight lug front wheels. Nice. Man, this is such a cool van. Got the giant antenna there. Hook up your CB, probably. Let's see. There we go. All right. More green, more shag. Nothing like the shag. Here's a map. Minnesota State Parks. Minnesota, naturally. Is there a date on this? No. Pretty cool. That's probably been around for a while. Let's see what we have here. We've got a glove box. That's empty. Still got the sunshine. Oh, look. This has a Minnesota State Parks sticker on it. I don't know if you can see that from the inside there. Got the little mirror there on the sun visor. Yeah, so this was mounted higher up, obviously, in the dashboard. Someone dropped it down for some reason. And then there's your 360 V8 with your two barrel. Pretty cool. Right here, thrumming away next to the driver's leg. And uh, actually, frankly, there's not much passenger uh, foot room here. But I guess that's part of the fun. And the winter is probably pretty nice and toasty. In the winter, it probably sucks being right next to it. But uh, that's, you know, this door doesn't seem to open. So it is obviously unlocked. It's open a bit, but something's wrong with the latch. I think up here and it won't open anymore. So let's just climb in and see what we have inside. Oh, here we go. All right. More shag. A bench. There's the air cleaner. And that's the dog house that goes, you know, that's the cover that goes on top of the uh, engine. And then, oh, look at that. A lot of headroom here. Not really any room to sleep up here. Maybe for a little kid. What else you got? Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, that is some cool. What is that? It's like some kind of lucite or plastic finished countertop. You got the full kitchen here. You got it. Move this drawer. Got a sink, stove, three burners, even an oven, power, Dometic 211 fridge with the, the green uh, matching on upholstery. There's your uh, furnace, extra lounge speakers, exterior fan. Oh, and look at that. The toilet. Right, there's a sink. Kind of like an airplane, actually. And then there's the toilet. Push to flush. Water valve. And you even have a shower in here. Check out the wallpaper. That is so cool. And more shag. Actually, is it? Oh, yeah. The whole thing is shag carpeted in the bathroom. I don't know about that. But... Is there a shower? Yeah. That looks like there's room for a handheld. Or I guess it's mainly a sit down tub type of deal. Very cool. Let's back out of this. Thankfully, it's a sunny day. It's a little creepy being inside of a van like this. When it's not your van, you don't know who's been in here, but what can you do? Better view of the driving position. Everything. Very cool. Let's see if we can climb out of here without killing ourselves. All right. Well, that is the Cobra conversion of the Dodge uh, Tradesman B300 van. So again, if you liked what you saw, please do hit subscribe and like, and uh, we'll keep on doing these, all right? Thank you very much for coming along. Bye.